So in the previous permissions video, we saw how to handle permissions on an app-wide level using Vulkan's um, user groups and actions. Now, what if instead of having like app-wide permissions, you want to define permissions at a document-specific level? So what I mean by that is, let's say that um, you have these photos and they have comments and here as an admin I can edit any comment but we want to define new permissions and assign a specific user to moderate one specific photo. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to show you what it will look like. Here I'm logged in as a manager Jim. Uh, we'll call these new special users uh, managers. And you can see, as Jim, I'm not able to edit any of these comments, neither uh, am I here. On the other hand, here I can. And here I can as well. And how did, uh, did I do this? Well, it's really simple. As an admin, I can edit the, the photo, the picture, and just assign a manager ID, the ID of the user that can manage the, the comment thread associated with the picture. Now, of course, in a real world uh, scenario, you'd probably have a, a better UI, not just a text field, but a, a drop down to pick a user or even multiple users. But for uh, this video, this, this will be good enough. So what does this look like? on the code side. Well, the first step here in our permissions uh, package is to um, add a manager ID field to the PIX schema. And uh, what this uh, manager ID field does, first of all, uh, it's viewable by guests. We could actually change this to members because uh, guests, again, which are uh, non-logged in users, they can't be managers anyway. So let's change this to members. And then who can edit this field? Uh, admins, because we want only admins to be able to assign um, a user as a manager. And then optionally, uh, we decide to resolve this field as a manager field on the client. So what this will do is, in addition to preserving uh, this manager ID field, uh, because we're setting add original field true here, it will also uh, publish a manager field that contains the user object returned here. So this is more in case uh, we want to debug stuff, or let's say we wanted to show the the name of the manager, for example, for a, a comment thread. Um, not strictly needed in this case, but doesn't hurt. So what else do we need? Now that we have uh, this manager ID field, we can use it to uh, to check right whether a given user is or not the manager for a picture. And where do we do this? Well, we do this when we want to edit a comment. So it's going to be somewhere in there. And previously, we were using um, the default mutation, so get default mutations. So this is what we had previously, but this uh, these default mutations don't really know anything about our manager ID field. They don't include this uh, document specific testing behavior. So we're going to get rid of them and instead import our own mutations from mutation.js here. And so what does this look like? Um, the new mutation is the same as the default mutations because uh, any regular user can perform um, the insert as long as they have access to the comments.new action. And uh, But what changes is the check function for both the comments edit and the comments remove operations. And so I've defined it right here and let's walk through it. So uh, I'll come back to this in a minute, but first let's see uh, the contents of the function. First, if 
the uh, the mutation is being called either uh, by a non-existing user or on a non-existing document, we return false. Now, if this is not the case, we can proceed. And first we check if the user owns the document. Um, again, the document being a comment. So if the user owns the comment, we let them edit it or delete it. So far, so good. Now, if the user doesn't use, uh, own the comment, that's where things get interesting. We check if they can do the comments edit all action. And now this check will return true uh, in basically two conditions, either if the user is an admin or if the user is a moderator, because if we go back to our permissions, JS file, um, mods can perform edit all. And then if this also returns false, so presumably the user is not a moderator, we're in the last uh, case where we want to check if they have rights to manage this specific uh, picture. Now, here's the the key thing, where do we get the data about the picture from? Well, if we're on the server, we can get it from the database. That's the most straightforward way. So we can call this pixfindone.document.pickid. Again, document being the comment. So comment knows with which pick it's associated with. Um, if we're on the client, though, this won't work because we don't have access to the Mongo database on the client. So if we're on the client, we'll actually pass pick as an argument. And that's what we're saying here. We're saying if pick is passed as an argument, use that. If not, get it from the database. So then the question is, where do we uh, pass pick from? In other words, where is check being called? And on the server, check is called um, when we want to actually perform the operation, but on the client, it's called in, um, let's see, comments item to decide whether we should show that small uh, pencil icon that lets us edit a comment. So um, here we just pass pick, and in order to pass it here, we pass it all the way down the chain. So, you know, if, if you look at the, um, the React DevTools here, you can see that comments item is included in comments list, which is included in na, 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 picks details. So that's what we do here in picks details. We pass it down and then all the way to uh, picks comments list and then comments item where we pass it to check. One more thing to address before wrapping up. Earlier, uh, you may have noticed that, let me find a comment. Uh, when I was editing a comment as uh, manager Jim, the is deleted checkbox didn't appear in the form. And that's because before only moderators had access to the um, this field, the as deleted field. So I added the admins and managers groups to um, viewable by, insertable by, editable by. And then I also created the actual managers group uh, right here because although I've been speaking about you know managers um, for the last 10 minutes, it wasn't an actual group. Uh, as defined in Vulkan. It was just uh, more of a concept. But now we actually have a group called managers. We're giving it access to this is deleted field. And the last thing I had to do was uh, make Jim a manager. So uh, this works, but we also have this other little uh, complexity, which is that um, as Jim, we want to see the deleted comments for uh, this pick or this one because I am a manager for them. On the other hand, if I switch back to my admin account here, although this one has a deleted comment, uh, it doesn't have a manager. So we do not want Jim to have access to that de deleted comment to be able to see it. 
And so um, this happens in our check access uh, function on the comments collection. So we check if the comment is deleted. Uh, if it is, we show it to either users who are uh, moderators and can perform the comments view deleted action, or like before, we check if the uh, current user is also the manager for the pick, which we get by performing a Mongo uh, query. So again, this will only work on the server, not on the client. But in this case, check access is only ever called on the server. So that's uh, not really a problem. And so uh, there you go. We have our requirements fulfilled. If a user is made manager and given access to um, a specific pic pictures comment thread, they'll be able to view all the deleted comments and also edit all the comments and mark them as deleted. If they haven't been given access, it will just appear as a regular comment thread for a re regular user. Now, this is not a perfect system because we do need to one uh, assign the manager group to a user and two manually make them manager for a given uh, picture. But for now, it works well enough. Maybe in the future, we can think about a, a way of doing both uh, steps at once. But anyway, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, as always, don't hesitate to drop by the Slack chat room and see you very soon for the next video.